In this video, I'll be presenting how to configure the multi provider SSO plugin for ServiceNow using the Istanbul release of the platform. Firstly, what we need to do is install the plugin. Now, in this demonstration, I'm logged in using a maintenance account. What I'm going to do is navigate to the plugins application and search using the keyword integration. I'm looking for a record named integration multiple provider single sign on enhanced UI. Now, this plugin will automatically install integration multi provider single sign on installer in addition to itself when it's installed because there's a dependency between the two plugins. It's a good habit to just check on the plugin once the installation is completed. Just have a quick look just to for your own self-assurance that everything's gone to according to plan. Okay, now the plugin is installed, we need to go ahead and configure it. So let's configure the identity provider. I'm going to use the email field for authentication. ServiceNow comes pre-configured with settings for SSO Circle. Now SSO Circle is a great website you can leverage um, the predefined settings um, to just speed up things when it, in terms of uh, getting SSO set up. As you can see, it's set up using templates so that you can follow and easily amend. Um, we're using the your instance where you obviously replace that with the name of the instance that you're actually configuring. Now, you'll need an account with the identity provider. As I mentioned before, I'm using SSO Circle. Luckily enough, I already have an account with them that was um, configured to this instance prior to me Z booting it. Back on the instance, what I have to do is ensure that I have a user account that shares the email ID as the account I have configured on SSO Circle. Okay, let's complete our configuration of SAML. We will need our ServiceNow provider, that is, this ServiceNow instance, to share its metadata with the identity provider, SSO. I can do this by clicking the UI action, Generate Metadata. Let's copy this information. Now we need to navigate back to SSO Circle. I have a previous ServiceNow instance configured to this account. 
Let's remove all these details and add the metadata I just copied. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's remain on SSO Circle for a moment, just remaining on this account. So what we could do here is we can locate the public certificate for this account. In order to give my ServiceNow instance the ability to communicate with this SSO Circle account, I need to configure the multi-provider SSO application with the SSO Circle X509 public certificate. Now, something worth noting is that the certificate is in PEM format. So we have to keep notes of the boundaries that are set for the beginning and the ending of the code. And that's all there is to it. We can now activate the multi-provider SSO application through its system properties. Let's set the debug there. And remember, I've configured on email, not username. Then clicking on the single sign-on module, To set up the redirection. So now when I navigate to my instance, I'm instantly redirected to my SSO Circle account. Once I authenticate, I can then access the instance.